And well, one of the finalists for the Mobile Civic Center redesign project stepped away from the competition today. Sterling Properties of Louisiana sent a letter to Government Plaza saying it believes the selection process wasn't fair. News 5's Dana Winter has been looking into this situation and she joins us live at the Civic Center with more. Well, Peter Sterling says there's two reasons it is taking its name out as a contender. The first reason, the project is changing from what it was originally supposed to be. The second deals with financial information. The iconic Civic Center is getting ready to change. While we saw two options at a July City Council meeting, now only one is on the table. Sterling Properties' proposal included a 7,500-seat event center. The other contender did not. The letter says the city asked the company about removing the arena from its plans. Sterling responded, saying it believes an event center of some scale is necessary. The letter states it became clear the mayor favored the competing proposal with an outdoor entertainment district. The other main issue, finances. Sterling says its financial proposal has been publicly discussed, but the competing company has still not presented any financial plan. The letter says, we feel that it is difficult to compare these proposals. One is a public-private partnership around an active community asset with a full financial model, and the other is a commercial development with funding details and public support requirement as yet unspecified. The city responded to Sterling's letter saying in part, while we cannot compel companies to compete, we are committed to an open and fair competition. You can read the full response from the city as well as the full letter from Sterling on our website. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.